the singer, my main man over in America. Let's get his thoughts on the AFC West. Hello, everybody. Harrison Singer back from my college dorm room. Hopefully a much healthier Harrison Singer, as I was awfully congested last week when I was tr trying to talk to you guys about the AFC South when I was suffering from a cold. Anyway, we're going to talk AFC West and NFC West, and I'm going to get right to it. Starting in the AFC West, I, I'm taking the Oakland Raiders. There's no doubt about it. I love Derek Carr, even off a broken fibula, taking the next step forward, maybe winning MVP this year. I wouldn't be surprised if it happens. Amari Cooper and Michael Crabtree form a very good wide receiver duo for Carr to throw to. And let's not forget about Beast Mode, adding Marshawn Lynch into a backfield that could have used a little bit of help, that underperformed a little with Latavius Murray heading it last year. He's in Minnesota now. And that defense continues to get better and better. I love the Oakland Raiders, and I, I said I like Houston in the South. I said I, I really believe in what they're doing, what they're forming down there. But if anyone really is challenging the New England Patriots in the American Football Conference this year, it is certainly the Oakland Raiders. It is. Anyway, coming in second place in the AFC West are the Denver Broncos, in my opinion, sliding past the Kansas City Chiefs, and here's why. I don't care if it's Trevor Simeon or Paxton Lynch playing quarterback. It looks like it will be Simeon because Paxton Lynch just doesn't seem to be ready yet. But that defense is haunting. I wouldn't want to face it if I'm an opposing offense. It's pretty similar to the one that won the Super Bowl for them two years ago with a really shoddy Peyton Manning and Brock Osweiler at quarterback. So, quite frankly, I, I, I do trust this defense to get them back on track and, and, and perhaps maybe get them back into the playoffs and if not back into the wild card game or one of the wild card games, then at least challenge, at least be relevant by the end of the season, just like they were last year. In third place, I like the Kansas City Chiefs sliding from second to third. I know they had a great season last year, but Don Terry Poe is a loss that, well, literally and figuratively, a huge loss. This guy clogs up the middle at nose tackle, and he's going to be doing that in Atlanta now. I know they have Justin Houston. I know they have Eric Berry. I know they have a lot of other great names on that defense. But anytime you lose a nose tackle of that caliber, it's hard to stop, at least in the running game. It's, it's hard to really make up for that. I see Alex Smith taking a step back. He's always been a guy that's not going to lose you any games, but he's certainly not going to win you any games. Spencer Ware out for the season, so the running, running game is also a question now. I think the offense for Kansas City has a lot of questions. Not saying Andy Reid won't figure it out. But I think that the Raiders obviously take this division, and Denver's defense puts them ahead of Kansas City, at least at this point. Bringing up the rear in the AFC West, I like the Los Angeles Chargers. Well, maybe not like the Los Angeles. I see the Los Angeles Chargers coming in fourth, but I don't see them being a horrible team that gets a, a top-five draft pick like they did you know, last year. I, Joey Bosa is a stud. Phillip Rivers is still going to play at a high level. But at the end of the day, the supporting cast just isn't there for Rivers and it, on the offensive side. And it's not there on the defensive side either. It's not going to be a horrible team. Like I said, I see a 6-10, and 7-9 finish. But even that won't be good enough to pass, I think, the Chiefs for third place. Moving to the National Football Conference, going right into the NFC West, I really don't see anyone overtaking Seattle in this division. Russell Wilson played through injury last year. Fully healthy, I think he's going to return to the form that we that he exhibited, and us football fans enjoyed watching two years ago. It was the highest level of football he's played all year. I think Pete Carroll and Co. will figure out the running game with Thomas Rawls. Maybe it's Eddie Lacy getting a really good bulk of the carry. I have no idea who it will be, but they'll they'll figure it out. I uh, and this offense, I think now has to run through Russell Wilson with his legs, with his arm. They just traded Jermaine Curse. They got a very good piece from the New York Jets and Sheldon Richardson to add to that defense, which we all know is really solid. The Legion of Boom is coming back. I know Earl Thomas is coming off a broken leg. Cam Chancellor just got his money. And we know what we're getting out of Richard Sherman, who, despite his ups and downs, maybe on and off the field, or at least his comments, whether you agree with them or not, is a very solid player and one that should hold down the fort on the outside against opposing wide receivers. In second place, I see the Arizona Cardinals. This really, this division to me really drops off in terms of talent after Seattle. But I think the Cardinals, out of the remaining three teams, have the best roster straight up. I think Carson Palmer is aging. I don't think he'll have a, a, a I don't think he'll bounce back to the to the way he played two years ago. David Johnson, a year off 
a, a season in which he saw a tremendous workload, so I, I see him regressing as well. But this defense is good enough to come in second place in this division. Third place, the Rams. The Rams are an up-and-coming team to me. I don't, I'm don't. i still not sold on Jared Goff by any means, but that defense, I love that defense. I love Aaron Donald. I love everything about that young defense. And maybe I don't love Goff, but it's possible he takes a step in the right direction this year. And Todd Gurley should be able to bounce back. I don't see a scenario. I don't see another season where Todd Gurley struggles like he did last year. I see him playing like rookie Todd Gurley. And, and and running up and down the field against opposing teams. Bringing up the rear in the NFC West of the 49ers, I think they have a lot of work to do. They didn't get out, they didn't go out and draft a quarterback like I personally thought they should have. They traded up and and instead drafted someone on defense rather than getting a quarterback and and, and now they're stuck with Brian Hoyer, Brian Hoyer, who I don't know will last the season. As the starter, and if it's not him, it's Blaine Gabbert. That whole quarterback situation is a mess. I think it's pretty clear that the 49ers will be in the running for a quarterback next April in the NFL draft. But offense, defense, young team, a lot of work to do. I don't see the 49ers crawling out of not just the NFC West basement, but probably the league's basement as well. Anyway, that's it for my predictions. This edition was the AFC West and NFC West. Hope you guys enjoyed. I love being here. Hope to see you guys next time on the show. Hey, thanks for watching Sports Hit. Don't forget, you can subscribe to us on YouTube, but you can also hit us on Twitter, Instagram. We would love to hear from you. We're trying to take the program from next level to next level to next level. Enjoy.